Hi, my name is Andy Lynch. I'm with PC, and today we'll be going over cleaning your ETC rack. One thing you'll notice when you come into the dimmer room after a year, you'll see a blinking light up here. Usually when you see that blinking light, that means there's an error somewhere on your rack. And then when you see that blinking light, you'll open up your dimmer rack door, and you'll come to your control card. On your control card, you'll scroll through the menu until you come up with rack errors. You hit the check mark, and then you'll find different things wrong with your uh, dimmer rack. So first one that popped up is no data to DMX speed because there's nothing connected there. This room is a little hot given the time of year and their air conditioner broke, so it's giving off a high temp warning. And the last one is gonna be clean your air filters. This one will pop up once a year on a cycle just to remind you to come out and clean your air filters for your dimmer rack so they don't get clogged up with dust and then you're sucking dust in and further making a heat issue inside your dimmer rack. So first thing we're going to do, lift up on the filter and then pull down. As you can see, this venue has taken pretty good care of their dimmer racks and they're not caked with anything like uh, construction dust or just stuff that's accumulated over time. But what we're gonna do right now is just take this guy and our handy dandy brush, set it up right here, and then you're just gonna brush out all of the dust. You can kind of see some of it's accumulated, so brushing it out. Other thing you can do if you don't have a paintbrush on you, you can use a vacuum or air compressor. Cool. Flip the first side, flip it around, get the back side, and you're all done. Just put it back in and drop it down. Similar deal for the bottom one. Pull up, pull out, and drop down. And just pop it back in. And that's the easiest thing you can do for cleaning and keeping maintenance up on your dimmer rack. Another option you can do when things get real bad is come to your dimmer rack, flip off the breakers, and you can pull out a card. When you do this, I recommend turning off the main breaker for your dimmer rack because once you pull out this card, you're gonna be exposing all the main rails and the high voltage for the rack and you don't want to accidentally slide your hand in there or catch anything or let anything get in there. But to show you guys, is what you can do on some of your older cards, you'll start getting dust in here and around your, uh, your choke coils. And what you'll do is you'll just come in with a paintbrush, do the same thing, clean them off, give them a nice little dusting, and you're good to go. Just keep it check out for any loose debris that might be in there. And when you're good to go, pop it back in. So the other option you can look forward to doing once a year is also sucking out the dust that accumulates in the heat dissipation fins on the side of each dimmer card. And the easiest way to do this is to set up a vacuum and just take your hose and suck it out going down from top to bottom. So with your vacuum set up like so, got my hose, a vacuum, all I'm gonna do is kick it on and then drag the hose down the side slowly, sucking out as much as I can. And then when you've finished cleaning your dimmer rack, you can go back to your dimmer rack control card, go to the menu where it says clean your air filter, hit the check mark, and clear the air. The light will stop blinking at the top if you have no other errors. And then when it's time to clean your dimmer rack again, your dimmer rack's gonna let you know by blinking the beacon light at the top again. And that's how you clean your ETC dimmer rack. This is Andy with PCE. Uh, give us a call if you need help with your dimmer racks or if there's anything we can do for you.